The whole concept of anarchy is completely ridiculous and unworkable. The idea that people need no leaders at all is both wishful thinking and ludicrous. How men treat women now is bad enough. Imagine if they were given no guidance or rules to tell them right from wrong, to tell men that anything is acceptable. Because without parents to give guidance to a child's upbringing, we would just create monsters who have no sense for right from wrong. Parents are leaders too. The only people on the planet who do have a true and real sense about what is important are those who have worked on themselves spiritually because they have come to know altruism. Religion is a completely different entity to spirituality. Before someone awakens spiritually, they see everything they dislike with anger and seek revenge. Women, being naturally tantric, don't take much work to awaken spiritually, but men do. And in society, women are being taught to be more like men. Aggressive, filled with hate, uncaring, promiscuous, little or no self-respect for themselves or anyone else. Women are taught to care more about personal possessions and what they can get from others than being loving, caring and compassionate, which are feminine qualities. There is nothing weak about altruism and feminine qualities. It takes great strength to stand up against the negativity and hate spread about in the world and say, enough is enough. Why can't we all just do what is right by each other? Many people need leaders because they have had their spirituality switched off over many generations. Like it or not, men will always need them. And it is women, spiritually aware ones, that should be stepping up and giving them that guidance, as was always the way in the past. Priestesses would help men become spiritually aware, better people, and we can again. But they aren't going to want to listen to women who hate them and are angry about the past. It is up to us, women, yet again, to be the ones to help them, help themselves. Because until they have done that, and they have become altruistic, the problems escalate, and there will be no end to the battle of the sexes. Men need women for enlightenment. It is as simple as that. And we help ourselves by helping them, not hating them. I am sorry if this offends, but I can see the big picture here. I am in no way condoning the bad behaviour of men. I am saying that the ones who haven't become spiritually aware need our help. So they don't become the sexist, nasty, testosterone-poisoned fools they can. And not all men are like that. Some have learnt from women and become balanced, stable and very respectful of women and themselves. And with our help they all can. We can lead by example.